Father Lord, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you because of your endeavor mercy in all of our lives, oh God. Lord Jesus, even as we start our lesson for today, we pray that Jesus, who may speak to our hearts as little children, Jehovah's meek as you are. Lord, we pray that you shall talk to us and you shall really speak to us through your word. In Jesus' name that we pray in faith through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Hello children, I hope you're doing well. Personally, I'm doing well and the Lord has kept me safe. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about of how God punishes sin. I bless you so much and I know you're having a lot of fun. Mkiangalia katuni, sindio? Na wakanda sana, meni mchumbaji wako. Wacha ni kukumbushe vina, unajua mwaka vila kunja kanisa. Nina ito na kaya na meni mchumbaji wako, mchumbaji wa St. John's. Our Bible reading for today will come from the book of Genesis, chapter number 3, verse 1 to 24. Genesis, chapter number 3, verse 1 to 24. Yes, thank you, teacher. Children, how are you? Today we are running about our first parents, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve sinned against God. And when they sinned against God, God punished them. They were given the freedom of seeing the whole world and they only denied the access to the tree in the middle of the garden, at the Garden of Eden. But the serpent deceived them and they ate the fruits of the tree in the middle of the garden and God had told them not to eat from that tree and so when God realized that they had eaten from the tree he came visiting them and they felt guilty because they had sinned they had done what they were told by God not to do so when they felt guilty they started running and they start they, they had to hide from God and God was looking for them. And God punished them. He gave them the punishment because they disobeyed his rules. Praise God. When you sin, God will punish you. If you sin at home, your parents will punish you. If you sin in school, your teacher will punish you. Let us obey the rules that are given at home. Let us do what is right in school, in church, and everywhere so that we are not punished. Praise God. Our memory verse for today will come from the book of Romans, chapter number 6 and verse number 23. Romans, chapter number 6 and verse number 23. It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We say it again. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We say it together, children. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Children, if you sin, how do you feel? If you do what is not right, are you happy? You feel guilty? And you want to hide? If you do what is not right in class and the teacher is coming, you start hiding and you feel ashamed. So please do what is right. Because when you do wrong things, you will be punished. But when you do the right things, you will always be happy and people will appreciate you. Thank you. God bless you. And now 
now as we have heard from the lesson of today every sin has a consequence so please strive to live by the word of the lord and mine is to now wish you a lovely day ahead continue keeping safe and may the good lord bless you